Okay, I would like to start by inviting you all to uh, look at this. Okay, uh, let me find out who sees this thing as a spherical bubble. Okay, uh, one, two, three, spherical bubble. Okay. Okay, great. So now you are a group of people, okay, who sees the, the, things, uh, the things as a spherical bubble. You are a group of people with the same perception and uh, looking at an object with uh, a similar way. Uh, so this similarity is uh, creating um, a really new um, uh, security sensation, okay? So what's up if someone of you tell me um, uh, wait, it seems a triangle, not a spherical bubble. It's going to be weird. Uh, so we'll be let you discuss more and uh, ask some questions, asking him questions for more justification, etc. And you'll start asking the most common question is why? Why? So you'll be uh, curious, curious to understand them more. Curiosity is therefore is the desire to acquire new knowledge and a new experience. Is it like a, a superpower that we all born in ways? Um, it's what pushes us to learn, to uh, find an answers to uh, many questions, find an answer to many questions um, uh, and un for and universe mysteries. However, there is a common observation of how much people are losing their curiosity. We're losing our curiosity in time when our machines are getting smarter, smarter every day. Here, Yuval Noah Harari in his famous book, Homo Deus, said, algorithms may well outperform humans in designing virtual worlds too. The crucial problem isn't creating new jobs. The crucial problem is creating new jobs that humans perform better than algorithms. He adds, it will be extremely difficult for humans to control the motivation of a system smarter than themselves. Can you imagine how people, how, how, will, how life will be where a human is less intelligent than machines? The optimistic scenario said that the only power that machines don't have is curiosity. So what's the main characteristics of a curious person and why we lose this curiosity? A study conducted by a fast company is making a viable list uh, of eight habits of people who retain their sense of curiosity. They said that, that uh, um, uh, they are the people who, we, who they listen without any judgment. They are not afraid to ask more questions. They seek surprises. They are fully present. They are willing to be wrong. They make time for curiosity. They aren't afraid to say, I don't know. And they don't let past hurst after uh, affect their future. People are losing their curiosity as the companies because their managers are evaluating more communications, self-motivation, commitment like this than curiosity. Because we have this deepest fear of looking stupid. Because a professors who should make their students surprised and curious ask us, as ask students just pragmatic and personal questions. And because parents don't authorize curiosity. 
If we were lucky to have a parent authorizing our curiosity, it will become a part of our identity. Here, I invite you just to observe a child. Children are very curious at anything and are completely afraid to ask why. A child who is using uh, a piece of paper for the first time will do something like this. He will be fully present using all his senses. They ask hard questions to themselves and those around them. Dear Toastmasters, if you asked me more questions or asked yourself more questions or more clarifications about the usefulness of our sphere, you will be or the form you will be discovering the reality behind the imagery. The imagery, it's not a sphere, it's a cylinder. So it's time to um, conflate curiosity with your own thinking process. Thank you.